What's going on guys? Johnny with Blazer Grass Lawn Care and today is September the 6th, 2023. It is a Wednesday. It's about 10, 19 I want to say in the morning and this is my bag. I kind of forgot. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is my fifth one. This is my fifth one this morning and uh, for video purposes, today I'm going to show you the backyard. You guys ask me all the time, how do I manage my business? And the answer is Code IQ. Code IQ is giving away this Ford truck this month to a premium platinum or ultimate subscriber. So if you need help keeping up with the customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payment, give Code IQ a try for free. Just click on the link in the comment section and the description of this video. Code IQ is the fastest way to send estimates, invoices, and secure payments from your customers. It can even provide you with real-time business analysis such as close ratios, sales, and expense tracking so that you can stay organized and profitable with the link below so check out quote IQ and tomorrow I'll show you the front and I'm using the Toro Grandstand 36 inch and the shoot blocker is the green guard shoot blocker which is a automated shoot blocker and I'm just fixing the lens here to give you a better shot and um, yeah, this is a backyard that I do every two weeks. And as you can tell, you know, it's, uh, it's centipede grass. And let's mow this at 2.5. Right now it's about three, three and a half inches. So we'll, we'll take it down. It's a little bit damp. But um, now one thing that I want to uh, just kind of mention is that with the uh, grandstand, from the moment I leave my trailer to the moment I get back to the trailer is around six to six and a half minutes. And that's one thing that you need to know, guys. You need to know your timing. Um, I am extremely, extremely accurate with my time uh, because that's the only way for you to be uh, prosperous. Uh, with your monies okay I know uh, several places I see guys just kind of I mean they just move with, they don't move with a sense of urgency man you know just uh, like we used to call them in the army they're they're air teeth they, 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 they're stealing the air <laughs> air thieves <laughs> yeah um, that's a inside joke but um, yeah, exactly six minutes. And if I were to utilize a 21 inch push mower, guys, this property takes me around 11, 12 minutes. So you know the deal, in our business, time is money. So therefore, um, I'm, util I'm utilizing the 36 inch. And uh, yeah, again, it makes the body kind of relax and, and, and you know, kind of replenish itself uh, in order to get the trimming done. So, as you can tell, guys, um, a lot of my backyards have a lot of small obstacles and they require. Um, a good deal of uh, trimming so you have to be very very good at trimming and in this video I'm going to do the talk through method of instruction um, I'm going to talk to you and explain to you what I'm doing while I'm doing it okay that's so that's going to be in the trimming portion of this video I'm going to show you how I personally get in the nice crevices and clean everything up because we mow low, you know. Um, in my area, we mow low, so therefore, you need to know or you need to master the skills of trimming uh, low 
and efficiently and proficiently. So see that pretty tight area, right? But again, I've been doing this for a while, so therefore I I get it done with that 36. Man, there's nothing or there isn't a place where I can get into with that 36, man. Yep. So it all and, and, and it takes time. And I'm through. See that? All done. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so that's a shoe blocker right there. Bring the deck up. And go over to the trailer. And we're going to get the string trimmer. I know some of you guys are saying, man, you left your trailer open. Don't worry about it. The customer is right there in the front porch. So she's keeping an eye on my stuff. <laughs> so let's uh, put this up. And you notice that I'm not blowing this, uh, this mower, which I usually blow my mowers off before I put them in the trailer. But um, right down the street, Eh, probably about 10 houses down. I have another property in which I will have to utilize this more as well. So that's the way I do it. Now today is uh, on my on Tuesdays. Let me check this. Make sure. Yep, I have full power. Um, on Tuesdays is when I usually take my trailer because that's when I group all my all my properties that I need to utilize the 36 on that specific day and yeah all right so we're gonna take the Toro handheld revolution series and I'll tell you man I love I love my battery equipment Alright guys, so let the instructional portion begin. So as you can tell guys, in order to get into the crevices, right, and I'm not moving things just to show and make a point here. In order to get into the crevices, uh, number one is you need to know how to feather your trimmer. Um, you can attack this task going at full speed. So the first thing that you need to learn is how to feather your trimmer. And here, as you can tell, I wish my hands wasn't in the way. I am, I, I am using very, very low RPMs, okay? Because I want the string to be pliable and, and wiggly so that when I hit an obstacle, the string can kind of curve, it'll hit it and curve around the obstacle and not break or rip or tear what I'm aiming around. Make sense? Let me hit this real quick around the AC. There you go, clean it off. Um, so if you listen to the RPMs guys, I am, I mean, the bare minimum. The bare minimum, and I'm getting the task done. So I've seen guys, and that's just, this is one thing that I teach a lot of guys when they first come work for me, is how to feather your tr uh, the trimmer, the trigger, and learn uh, the power that your trimmer has. You know, be one with the trimmer. Don't that sound like a kung, like a kung fu movie? <laughs> be one with the trimmer, grasshopper. So that is the way. And you notice I'm in every little crevice, right? I'm knocking it out. Now, if I'm not inside a plant bed, it's because I don't go inside a customer's plant bed. All right? Maybe I was being paid to weed the plant bed, and it's different. 
You see that? Nice, even. Get the job done and keep it moving. As you can tell, right? Utilizing the Darwin grip, guys. I am just moving. And, and I'm moving with a sense of urgency. I'm moving. I'm gliding. I'm not worrying about picking up papers. I'm not worrying about moving anything. You know, that, that, that takes away time. It's all about time. Get the job done. And you don't have to be worrying about moving this, moving that, or moving the other. Uh-uh. Right? Look at that. Just glowing. All around, hitting the crevices. Everything is being taken care of. Everything is being done. There isn't anything that I'm missing, right? Because I'm scanning. I'm scanning the perimeter and ensuring, I'm ensuring that everything that's supposed to be trimmed is being trimmed. And I'm not trimming down to the ground, to the dirt, killing the turf, right? I'm trimming at the same height that I mowed. Make sense? There you go. See that? So there's a dip right in here. <clears throat> and I'm going right in the dip, right? Because I'm lifting up the back of the trimmer and getting all deep inside the crevices. Getting everything nice and clean. Killing those weeds. I'm not going inside the plant bed, right? Because, you know, I don't know what's that, you know? One time I, uh, been inside the plant bed next thing you know it was the customer got upset not this particular customer but a customer got upset because you know he was her uh he was a her vegetables but to me it looked like freaking weeds so i don't do it unless again it is part of my task and right now it isn't part of my task and you can tell guys i'm not moving anything right because my customers know that I'm coming to mow and if they wanted it to be moved, it shouldn't be there. Right here, I could easily be edging this stuff up, right? But no. Nah. All I'm gonna do is just hit it real quick and then next time I come, then I'll probably edge it up. But today, all I'm doing is cleaning it off. Making it look nice and clean. So when they come out the pool, they don't have to step on the grass, they can just step on the walkway. Alright? Here you go, get all in there. Now what I'm do underneath the uh, the deck because uh, there are some plants in there. Some wild plants. So that's not certain no, a location where I usually go into. Uh, well, I don't go inside the gravel by the, the pool area because, you know, you can hit a gravel, next thing you know, you're paying for a window. Again, I understand that some of you guys say, well, you know, it's easy to just go down there and do it, guys. You don't do anything that you're not quoting or anything that is not part of your task. Because the moment you start doing it, then it becomes an implied task. An implied task is something that is expected. All right, so over here, we'll just walk the outer perimeter. Not going inside because there's wild plants and stuff in there. And just lightly hit around the pool. Be very, very careful. At one point, I used to not do this because um, if this was a, a, let's say, one of those blow-up pools or whatever the case might be, I would not even come close to it. Okay, so lightly, feather the trigger, and walk your trimmer all the way around and clean all that stuff out. And don't worry, you'll be able to blow this in a few minutes with your blower. And there it is. All nicely done, guys. And this thing, this is a bonus right here. All right, because I want it to look good. These are all little weeds, but I'm not getting deep in there. I'm just hit it on the top. 
so it can look nice in appearance <clears throat> from far <clears throat> excuse me and there it is all finished so guys let me know if this made sense um, that's the way I do around fence you know anything that's I need to get real deep they you know inside the crevices or whatever the case that's the way I do it nice and light again I seldom seldom go full power all right so this is the Toro Revolution backpack blower and what I usually do is I only carry one uh, 10 amp battery and believe it or not guys and hey one 10 amp battery will last me right now is lasting me about close to eight or nine properties that I'm blowing now this to me is equivalent to a uh, to a BR uh, 450 um, is a little bit yeah yeah it's a little bit less than the uh, uh, somebody car the alarm is going off okay good my apologies on that but I'm not gonna redo this video <laughs> see so I'm walking in perimeter ensuring that everything is blown off <clears throat> and hit the deck at turbo tell me guys battery power but of course some of you guys don't like it and hey to each his own right <laughs> but yeah there it is guys simple plane straight to the point from beginning to end um, that's the way I do it that's the way I do it and uh, you utilize the equipment that is going to make you efficient and uh, productive you know what I mean no sense in push mowing this thing when I can do it faster because I have a stand on 36 now if you don't have a stand on 36 and that's fine you know just don't you know utilize you know you utilize what you have okay all right let me lock this up guys thank you for taking the time to watch my videos have a blessed one like share follow subscribe all that good stuff see you tomorrow where I'll show you the front of this property and make it nice and crispy pop smoke peace